Hello, Pam Turner back again, and we're talking about the Master Cleanse. If you're with me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Pam Turner Body Coach, we're doing the Master Cleanse as a corporate group. Okay, I've been getting a lot of questions because a lot of you work during the day, and so you're asking how to make the Master Cleanse to take to work. So I've been getting questions like exactly what are the measurements to make up a gallon and so that you can take it to work. And bottom line, guys, I don't know because I take it to work as well, but I measure it one cup at a time and just pour it into the um, container and then take it that way. So I can't really tell you, but let's kind of figure it out together, okay? All right, so I used to use glass because I think glass is really clean. I really like it. Plastic, I'm really not a big fan of. But because it's very, very easy to take, to travel with, I'm just going to buckle down and take a uh, gallon container. All right? So we have an empty gallon water container. All right? So the measurements are 10 ounces of water, 2 tablespoons of maple syrup, and 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. Now that's according to the booklet, The Master Cleanser by Stanley Burrow. So we're going to keep that ratio, and that's what we're going to do. So, ah, but first, let me talk about one other thing. It's nighttime. I'm going to bed. You know you have to take your tea in the morning and take your tea at night or do the salt water flush in the morning. And since I am working, I'm going to be doing the tea in the morning, but I'm also doing it now. So we're going to steep the tea. You need to steep your tea for about 5 to 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is pour water in the tea bag or over the tea bag. And you say, how do you steep it? Well, to steep it, you just put a cover on. So we're going to put a lid on and let that sit. So while our tea is steeping, let's go ahead and put together our lemonade mix for tomorrow, for the whole day. Now I'm a big lime fan, so I always like the ratio of three limes and two lemons. I mix it up. Sometimes I do all lemons, sometimes I do all lime, but you know, then other times I mix it up. Alright, so we're going to do three lemons and two limes. Three limes and two lemons. <laughs> okay. But before we throw them in the juicer, what are we doing? We're washing our fruit. And why do we wash our fruit? Because fruits and vegetables have parasites. I tell you guys all the time, never want you to forget that. Okay. All right, all clean. So, let's throw in, we're going to do two lemons and three limes. Okay. But if you notice, I dropped the whole fruit into the chute of the um, juicer. So always get a larger, if you're shopping for a juicer, get one with a larger mouth so that you can just drop the whole fruit in. Okay, all right, so that was five. We're going to start there. Okay, now I take a measuring cup. This measuring cup has 16 ounces. It's two cups. So what we're going to do, one serving is 10 ounces of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to need two ounces, I'm sorry, 20 ounces because we're going to do two at a time, all right? And actually you can't do two at a time because two cups is 16 ounces. So we're going to take the four cup, the four cup measuring cup. And since we have on here 32 ounces, let's just go and do um, 30 ounces. So we're going to start with three at a time, okay? All right. So, we're going to measure 30 ounces. It's 32 ounces. Four cups is 32 ounces. If you go one tick mark below that, that's 30 ounces of water. So that's three servings at a time. And then you do two tablespoons of lemon juice and two tablespoons of maple syrup per 10 ounces. So since we're doing 30 ounces, we're going to triple that. So we're going to do six. Ooh, one two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's our maple syrup. All right, now let's go get this lime juice, lemon lime juice. All right, here we go. And we're going to measure six 
tablespoons of this, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, we're just going to pour the 30 ounces, which is now a little more than 30 ounces, but we're going to pour that into our gallon container. I should use a funnel, but I don't want to take time to get one. It's late at night. I have to work tomorrow, and I'm sleepy. So, okay. So that was three servings. Start all over again. We're going to measure 30 ounces of water again. Let's pour. All right, so now that's put us almost at half, so it looks like we're going to do this two more times. And pour it in. And all the while, my tea is still steeping over there. So when I'm done with this, I can take my tea and go to bed. All right, the last one. I'm sure it won't take much more than one oh, more. This will measure six. Oh my gosh. Six. Actually, it did it. And it still has just a little bit. So you guys, you didn't see me do that. Okay. All right, so it looks like five lemons or limes or both, a mixture of both, will give you one gallon. Okay. And here we go. Okay, just about perfect. Well, there you go. Okay, so if you're doing three at a time, then you're going to do it four times. You're going to make up four of these, okay, at three servings at a time. All right, that sets it up. That is your lemonade mixture. This will do a day for you, okay? So you want to drink eight to 12 servings a day. One serving is 10 ounces. You want to do 8 to 12 a day. So if you could put down a gallon of this a day, you're doing really well. Okay. Normally I drink probably about here, maybe about three quarters of a gallon. Okay. All right. So there you go. That's your mixture. And I'm getting ready to take my tea. Day two, I'm a little bit tired because it's a little bit late. It's actually after midnight. Stand up way too late. Remember on the master cleanse as well, sleep is important. Okay, your body heals itself while it's sleeping. So sleep is important. Take your tea at night. In the morning, you can have your tea or do the salt water flush, the sea salt water flush. You definitely have to use sea salt, okay? We'll talk about the sea salt water flush another time. Tonight I wanted to get this, so now I pop it in the fridge. Tomorrow morning I'm out the door, all right? See you guys. Day two, going strong.